In private, he is already amassing his fortune. As you see, the discovery of gas literally transformed our country overnight, helping us realize the national vision and giving us a proud and secure future. Political rivals find themselves sidelined no matter how well connected or powerful they believe themselves to be. The main objective of this idea right now is that uh, so many uh, organizations and countries that are trying to gamble in the OPEC and to have the collapse of the OPEC. But again, I would like to reassure that the OPEC will be strong. هل استقال نجيب النعيمي من الوزارة أم أقيل من الوزارة استقلت واستقال طبيعية حكم أني أنا رأيت أن هذا الوقت محتاج أني أخرج إنسان حس أن هذا وصل إلى حد لا يستطيع أن يستمر فيه كوزير في حكومة أنت يعني أنت قدرة عطائك في الحكومة أنت تبي تحطها بهذا الحجم حطها Use what they say in Arabic, Khabir al Khubara, the expert of experts, eminently qualified. Please join me in welcoming Minister Atiyah back to the <laughs> It's very attractive because every time I ask for a minister who left energy or chairman or CEOs of any oil companies, what you will do? Consultant. So it's becoming, you know. Uh, somebody asked me, me the same question, and I said, not, not consultancy. Uh, I, I think this is, is not, uh, you know, it's a good business. But I will give you three, you know, three uh, advice. You know, don't believe forecasting. Fortunately, special needs. So it's important for us to share with with them the, the, the first. Major Qatari businessmen who think they are secure after running successful private enterprises find themselves on the losing end of hostile takeovers. One deal, above all, shows how being a public servant benefits him as a private citizen. In 1994, he establishes Qatar Airways with $6 million seed capital raised through a consortium of investors. He appoints his first cousin, Hamid bin Ali bin Jabba Al Thani, a world record-breaking pilot to run the business, though he does not survive long. As Prime Minister, he then authorizes his government to spend billions of dollars on a major fleet of planes. In 2014, he sells the 50% consortium stake he controls to the Qatar government for $2.2 billion. وأتسلم مقاليد الحكم في البلاد خلفا لوالدي الذي سيبقى والدا للجميع عزيزا له المحبة والتقليد والتقدير والإجلال 1995 his first big power play a natural conspirator HBJ installs his cousin Sheikh Hamad as emir in a bloodless coup he then exploits this close relationship as it gives him the license to do as he pleases which includes taking commissions on lucrative Qatari government contracts it's a pattern he will use again and again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you, 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 let me
Life for free. But you can give them to the birds and bees. I want the money. Well, Qatari's become rich thanks to the gas boom. His earnings are off the scale. He authorizes deal after deal, but then pockets the commissions as a private citizen. Today, he has all the swagger of the mega rich. Huge yacht and a 747 jet, personally monogrammed with his initials, HBJ. 727-8 VIP is the second largest plane in the world. It is also the most luxurious plane in the world. At a whopping $367 million, excluding laundry upgrade, this plane makes private jets look like toys. The client's identity remains undisclosed. It has been tracked that the first VIP plane went to Quator, and another has been tracked to Bermuda. As the former Emir Sheikh Hamid bin Khalifa Al Thani said, I rule Qatar, but HBJ owns it. Bizarrely, given what is already in the public domain at the time, Forbes magazine estimates his wealth at $1.2 billion. Court documents, which HBJ's lawyers did not contradict, estimate his assets in London alone to be around $4 billion. The Guardian puts his global wealth at $12 billion. The real figure is significantly higher. Your love gives me such a 